We are now going to move on to the bank section of Zero Accounting Software. We go to Accounting, click on Bank Accounts, and we are taken to the Bank account screen on Zero. This shows a list of any bank accounts that have been added to Zero. I have two here, Business Bank Account and Business Savings Account. In order to account for or to record any payments to or from a bank account, the bank account has to be added to zero. We have two accounts showing. Let's say we need to add another, or perhaps there are no accounts showing, and you need to add your first account. We simply click on Add Bank Account to be taken to the Find Account screen. What Zero wants to do by default is create a feed between zero and your online bank account so that transactions are automatically downloaded from your online banking to the zero on a daily basis. I really suggest you do that. So what you would do is find your account, let's say it's a Lloyd's business account, you have to click on Lloyd's, simply click agree and then log in to your online banking. That will then connect the two, your online banking account with zero so that zero can just download those transactions every 24 hours it will save you so much time um, there will be another video at a later date that will cover that feed and how to automate that feed create rules so a lot of the accounting is automated this will save you so much time and I highly suggest that you connect an account that you click agree and log into the bank account. If you don't want to do that for whatever reason, if you click on skip, you can add the account manually. So you just put in the account names. Let's say this is the Lloyd's current account. You select the type, it's an everyday account. You put in the sort code, the currency, click save and continue. So if it's a foreign account such as US dollar, you can select US dollar in the currency. That's now been added. So we now have our business bank account, our business savings account and Lloyd's current account. If we ever need to edit this at any point, just click on manage account and click on edit account details. You can then change the, the name here or the bank sort code account number. You can't change the currency once it has been set, so it's important that you do it right first time. If you have connected an account using a bank fee between zero and your online banking, then you should have this button appear that says reconcile an X amount of items. This is the automated feature which I'll cover in a later video. That's how we add bank accounts. In the next video, we'll go through um, recording payments from this account and then we'll move on to recording payments into the account so recording expenses and recording sales or money in and money out